also are a few teams sitting outside the top 10 right now that would love a shot at one of these big name quarterback prospects. So who would you like to see take a huge swing and trade up to get the Dior's? The Broncos, who sit at 12, or the Raiders, one pick behind them at 13. I love this. Kyle's like, oh, what the hell? Who the hell is Dior? I'm I want Zappos. <laughs> they got Dior's on Zappos. <laughs> I'll hit that all day long. Let's go. I love that. The Raiders, the Broncos. I'm going with the Broncos here, and I look at their situation. They went and got Sean Payton to correct the quarterback position. Since then, they've released a quarterback that they paid a ton of money from. We we heard from Sean Payton at the combine when he's talking about the quarterback position, and he went to talking about funny memes on the internet. Check out what Sean oh. Payton had to say. About that. I, I, I saw this like humorous meme the other day where there was a Bronco fan with a shirt on, and there was like eight quarterbacks' names with a cross through it, you know, and and he's drinking the quarterback Kool Aid, and I, you know, our, our job is to make sure that this next one you know, doesn't have a line through it. That's fine. The quarterback Kool-Aid, in other words, he was trying to forget about all the quarterbacks on that <laughs> list, from Osweiler to Keenum to Flacco to Bridgewater. The best part about the shirt that he had on, on the sleeve right here, said Kendall Hinton. That was a guy in 2020 during COVID that ended up playing quarterback yeah. because the four other guys on You're the right. roster couldn't play <laughs> because they had contact. So, so many quarterbacks, so many attempts, and you look at where the Broncos are right now. They have Jared Stidham, who was their backup last year, who started two games for Russell Wilson, and Ben DiNucci. Those guys together have five career starts one win so Peyton already said he expects there to be some other candidates for Jared Stidham to compete with to be the starter Peyton is the quarterback whisperer he's the guy that was brought in to change this thing I want to see the Broncos go out and get a guy that Sean Peyton is saying you know what I'm staking mm -hmm, my mm -hmm. name on him this is the guy to get it done I think they're the team that needs to move up very rarely do I agree with you but this there one I do You're it's the better. Broncos it's a beautiful thing. they got to move up and get a quarterback why do they have to move They've given so much up recently. They went and got Sean Payton. They gave a ton. They went and got Russell Wilson. Look at the names here. All these guys, Drew Locke, Noah Fan, Shelby Harris, 2023 first round pick, 2024 second round pick. All of these things, when you give it away, you're saying, you know why we're doing this? Because we know our future is in good hands. We're getting the right people in our building. We're doing what we need to do and go win. We're getting our head coach, we're getting our quarterback, and we're going. Now you fast forward and you say, wait, you're giving the guy, the quarterback, $38 million this year to go play for the Steelers? <laughs> what, what is going on here? So I look at this and I say, yep, I understand. You own Walmart. You got, you got a lot of wealth in there. <laughs> At Walmart. But do you want to keep paying more people and giving yeah. away more? Like, you don't want to keep rolling back these prices and giving things no, away. No, no, you don't no, want no, to no, roll no, back prices. You can't prices. do that. I'm looking at 12 and 13. They got to roll back something. Like, they're both, they're both sitting there. They both so need deep. it. They're division rivals. They're at the same spot. Like, who's going to do it? And also, like, God, that division's going to be tough. Yeah. I thought Harbaugh, Jim Harbaugh, had a great take yesterday. He's like, listen, we're at the five. I'm hearing the first four quarterbacks may be the first four picks. We have the number one pick in the draft. <laughs> like, we got it. And True. he's like, damn, Jim, you're right already. You're already killing this thing. I think, obviously, the Broncos do. But I actually think it's the Raiders mm. more. The Raiders got stars right now. They got Max. They got yep. Devontae, who's sitting there being like, let's go. And also, I have this feeling of, like, the Broncos have had a couple shots at this thing. You know what I mean? Like, they took the big swing. Yeah. They completely blew it. The Raiders have been laying in wait and doing the Garoppolo thing. Now they have Minshew. I feel like it's just time. I'm just reminded a little bit when I see Antonio Pierce and I see that defense and I see maybe a rookie quarterback, I'm reminded of the arrival of Rex Ryan as the Jets coach who showed up brash, cool, confident, no apologies, took a rookie quarterback and a great defense and just went and just flipped the table on everybody. That's what they're looking to do. Sean Payton is in year three. It's going to be a little weird if he doesn't win this year. You know, we got D'Amico Ryan showing up and winning playoff games in year <laughs> one and Denver saying like, Sean, you know what we spent for you? Never mind Russ. You were before Russ. I think it's the Raiders. They haven't had their shot. It feels like the timing is mm. now. But the two of these guys at 12 and 13, it's almost a race to see who gets it because there's only so many quarterbacks yep. to go around. I love this part of the draft. I feel like, though, the Raiders could really unlock a whole new level of Gardner Minshew in Vegas. Yeah. Like an old Vegas Minshew. That is what I want to mm -hmm. see. He's like the Fremont Street of quarterbacks. I feel like we could see a whole new side of Gardner <laughs> Minshew. Talking about so, playing and wearing sandals with like purple toenails <laughs> and just hitting the slot machine yeah. thing over yeah. and over. Yeah. Yeah. Lighting yeah. one cigarette off another. <laughs> Yeah. I've seen those and, people. And you, you don't want to sit in that seat at the slots afterwards. <laughs> no. like, you don't know what goes on in those oh, seats. I'm just gross. saying. So, 